Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. What advice would you give to people in their early 20s who are coming into the reality of the world and coming into the professional world? What habits or tips would you give me to become the strongest version of myself? You are such a positive inspiration, bro. Much respect. Thank you. Well, what I would offer is be disrespectful. Be dangerous. Do all those things that you wouldn't dare do because mommy and daddy wouldn't like it. They prepare us all this time for us to go out there and be adults. But an interesting thing happens. Those claws still stay latched in our back even though we're out there on our own. And what most people do is they keep those talents tied to, them, to, to their backs and they keep the mental prison going on. The only difference is that they do it to themselves. You must get in touch with the sensation in your body that leads you to do things that are right for you. When you are in your 20s, it is absolutely essential to go and do the most dangerous thing possible, which is follow your heart. Trust your instinct, trust your intuition, and forget about success. Forget about winning in the world. Forget about stacking. Forget about gaining and getting and amassing more wealth. These things will come and they will come properly. They will feel good. It will be smooth when they come. If and only if you're on the right path, on your road. I will offer you this, my friend. When Elliot Hulse was in his early 20s, he had just graduated college with a healthcare administration degree. And for all intents and purposes, all the people in his world were telling him that you ought to go get a hospital administration job. I was even offered a six-figure job, but I turned it down because it wasn't right. It didn't make sense to me. You couldn't pay me enough. I'd live in my car if I had to in order to do what I'm here to do, which is to help you get stronger. I'm a coach. I'm a coach at heart. I help people get stronger. I lift and I uplift. That's who I am. It's not what I do, and I found it, so my life is good. That's what I want for you. If you don't know what your path is, if you don't know what feels good, if you don't have inspiration dragging you down a path, then you must experiment. Go with the hunches, go with the feelings, go with the non-traditional path, the less traveled path, the road less traveled. Go where you can be a pioneer, do something new, do something revolutionary. Be a leader. And it may not mean that you are out there making brilliant creative work right away, but you're breaking the bonds that have kept you stuck, that have kept your family stuck in squares for many years. You gotta get out of the square. You gotta color outside the lines. You gotta break outside the box. And in that freedom, you now can explore in your 20s, my man. If I would have listened to people who told me I should get a respectable six-figure job at a hospital, I probably would have killed myself by now. I don't think my family would be as what it is today. I sure as hell wouldn't be reaching the world, speaking to you the way I am right now. I'd be too busy dealing with administration bullshit and healthcare companies and insurance and the government. Fuck them, fuck them all. We live in a day and age where opportunity abounds. If you are creative, you can reach people. There was a time when your creativity was subject to the bottleneckers the people who held media in the palm of their hands. Oh, you wanna to speak to people? Well, you gotta get on TV. You wanna sell your art? Well, you gotta get in the gallery. All the walls are down. The gate is wide open. The only thing stopping us is our fears, my man, and at 20, you should be full of courage. Be a wild man, make crazy decisions, but make them grounded in your heart. I wouldn't offer you this if it didn't resonate with me. I wouldn't say this to you if I tried it myself and it didn't work out. I am not unique, I am not special, I am not the only one. There are millions of us out there doing this. 
Another thing I would advise against is looking too sharply at what other people are doing and ending up being a copycat. Of course, you've got to imitate before you innovate, but always with your own fingerprint, always thinking in terms of how am I going to bring something unique, my unique song, my unique song, my unique fingerprint, my unique vibration. How am I going to deliver that to the planet as a gift? You are a gift. Every single one of us is a gift. How are you going to exercise and share your gift? Think outside of the box. I'll tell you one thing. Family values are going to come back in the new world. Honoring the earth is going to come back in the new, earth, new world. Those women out there watching this, although many of you are probably sword bearers and warriors in your own right, the years that you have been tricked into believing that it is not of any great value to be a mother, to be a caretaker, to be a home creator, have been tricked out of your own power, out of your own vitality, your own sexuality. And I say the same for men. We have been led to believe that we're cogs in a system, men. We've been led to believe that we're soldiers for the corporate and government entities. Generations and generations and generations of shutting up and doing what we're told. We are also creators. We also have that creative spark the same way the woman does. Women have been exercising their warrior these past few years. Men, it's time for us to exercise our lover, our poet, our artist, our internal intuitive. And the only way we can do that is if we put down the old stories, if we ignore the old bullshit, if we break the bonds of the old world ideologies. We must do that. Break it with your head so that your heart can rise. Bust through that shit with your sword so that you can rest in the garden. You've got to be dangerous. You've got to take action. You've got to ignore everyone else. And you've got to love yourself, trust yourself, listen to yourself, and follow your gut. This is my advice for all 20-year-olds. Done.